Cheers. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. It, this video is going to be a bit of an ad hoc uh, kind of off the cuff video because um, it's only a very tiny haul. I got a couple of really, really small little plants. Um, I went to Stuart's Garden Centre. Um, anyone in the south might be familiar uh, with Stuart's um, <laughs> or anyone on the south coast, I should say. Um, or if you've seen one of my videos before where I've gone around Stuart's um, and kind of shown you around, you may be familiar with them. Um, as a garden center, I just kind of went for a bit of kind of um, light relief mentally <laughs> um, the other day because I don't know, it's been a heavy month um, for many reasons as it has for many, many people. Um, and it was really nice to pop in there and just kind of, I don't know, be at one with the plants. Um, so yeah, that was, that was nice. It's a, I don't know how people feel about this, but I am certainly, I have mixed feelings, but I'm certainly thankful that garden centers are open um, for people to kind of access if they feel they need a bit of green space or they need to do something with their, um, the, the kind of nature side of themselves or their home or their garden or whatever it is. Anyway, it's a whole contentious subject, so I'm not gonna get into it. <laughs> Um, but needless to say, obviously, um, we were, I was safe, um, and wore a mask, blah, 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 etc. Um, anyway, <laughs> I have my wine, <laughs> um, and it's Friday night and it's been a long week. So I'm very happy that it is Friday night. Um, I don't know if you can tell, I've changed my hair color again. Um, it's kind of like... I don't know, it's actually on camera, it's starting to look like kind of yellowy green at the top, but it's much more like turquoise at the top. And this is more like teal. I don't know, the camera's weird. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm still doing a thing with the fringe. I don't know, I don't know. All right, I will put this down. Cheers to Friday, everyone. So I came across some little begonias. Um, <laughs> which you guys must know by now is my thing you know so when I saw these I was a bit like oh my goodness um I just I can't like I have a problem with begonias they are my like ultimate favorite thing if I ever go to sleep and I'm looking up stuff on the internet like when I'm falling asleep it's always either crochet or begonias um so <laughs> I I love begonias like that is no exaggeration so I am not 100% what, sure what all of these are I can kind of give you a guess um, but I'd be really grateful if anyone um, has any tips in the comments or any ideas about what these might be this is the first little fella um, I hope that this is going to come out well um, he is absolutely stunning absolutely stunning he's kind of like yellowy green on some of the leaves and then on others of the leaves he's like a really kind of cold green if that makes sense like some some leaves are warm green some leaves are cold green and um it is so pretty um i don't know if you can see he's got like kind of pink ruffles around the edge um and he is just absolutely gorgeous and i am so chuffed with this little chappy he's very cute very small um he was two pounds 99 i mean you can't say no to two pounds 99 for a tiny little begonia like this i think he's a begonia rex of some kind i'm assuming i don't know what this one could be i'm not entirely familiar with um the paler leaved um begonia rexes because they didn't kind of pique my fancy for a while but now i'm just like whoa this is so pretty um i feel like this is one of those begonias that you really kind of have to see in person to really appreciate but i will just give you a good look there yeah he is super gorgeous um so that one i am really chuffed about the next one um, you <laughs> you might recognize um, <laughs> because I have bought one of these not that long ago um, and not that long ago I have also killed one of these. Um, this is the very gorgeous Begonia Boomer. I'm, I'm like 90% certain that this is Begonia Boomer. I mean it looks 
like a begonia boomer it acts like a begonia boomer i'm so sure um but it is absolutely gorgeous i just love like this corrugated beautiful leaf pattern and now that my begonias are kind of doing a lot better i need to do a little update video on those but now that they're doing a lot better under the grow lights i feel confident that i'm not going to kill it again um so and he's just so pretty look at this little new leaf here he's so fuzzy and gorgeous and the leaf undersides are really cool as well it kind of reminds me of that um that cabbage <laughs> i can't think what it's called um but it's um, really tasty <laughs> but don't eat your begonias because they are toxic so yeah but he was 2 dollars as well super super cute and yeah I just think this is gorgeous and I haven't investigated but it looks like these have been grown from leaf propagations um, and therefore hopefully don't have plugs around them like the Dibley's ones um, so I'm hoping that this will be a successful little growing adventure. Um, the next one you might also recognize because it is one again that I've killed in the past. I'm fairly sure that this is the Begonia Rex um, Silver Lace, I think his name is. I think it's Silver Lace. Um, but yeah, so he's kind of like a really dark, beautiful uh, Begonia with um, a lot of kind of silver um the one that i'm familiar with the begonia rex silver lace is a lot more like this like kind of spotty on the on the dark but i i don't know we'll see how this comes up if you do know what this might be please tell me because um i'd love to know um <laughs> and he's just so pretty i just absolutely love this one um i did get a silver lace before from dibley's and it died a death so if I can make this work, I'll be very happy because this is one that I've been wanting ever since that one died. So um, I've kind of got my light at a weird angle today, so I'm not sure if this is coming off right, but hopefully it is. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do this all over again. And um, I might have finished my wine by then, so I'll be a lot more tipsy than I currently am. <laughs> right. Um... The final begonia, I've actually already put him in a pot and now I can't seem to get him out, so <laughs> that will just have to be how he is. Um, but this is another little um, begonia rex um, cultivar hybrid, whatever you want to call it. And um, initially, like, this isn't, I don't often go for the red um, begonias. I like I, I have quite a few, but they're not the ones that jump out at me normally. Um, but these were the four that were available. Like there was a there was a handful of these four, as it as it were. Um, and I just got that weird kind of feeling of like I can't leave one behind. Um, so so I bought this one too. Um, but I'm actually really glad I did because now I've put him um, kind of under the grow light. He is so sparkly and so gorgeous. Um, so I'm really really pleased with this one. And he's got a lovely lovely shimmery sheen to him. Um, so he's absolutely beautiful and I don't know if you can see under there that's where he's been propagated from a leaf so hopefully that means he's kind of got a bit more robustness um, in this soil because I think generally speaking if you're propagating from leaves you're you're not using a plug um, and also um, you don't tend to kind of what's the word I can't think of how to explain it like you know how you have a big potting machine for like mass scale um, production of certain plants um, I think that's what a lot of industries do is they have a machine to pot up their plants um, you can't do that with propagations because they're far too delicate um, so I am hoping that that means that these are a little bit more robust but we will see um, I will have to do a little update for you at some stage um, and the, finally, I just got a couple of little terrarium plants because they're adorable and also really affordable. So I got this little caladium. Um, admittedly, he's looking a little bit um, like not unhappy, but just a little bit kind of mm, <laughs> uh, floppy, perhaps is the word. Um, and one of his leaves has kind of rotted. So this 
this is weird actually, that's just come off in my hand, but this little leaf, really pretty little leaf, has just rotted at the stem, but the leaf is still intact. And that is so gorgeous. I'm actually really tempted to see if I can press that leaf. I wonder if we can. Um, but yeah, really, really pretty. Um, and this was, it was just 3.99. I, I never really know, I'm not very good at knowing my Caladium cultivars, um, but this one's really pretty. And I, I know that I've ogled this one as a large Caladium at some stage. So hopefully we'll see I, if I can get this to grow big. We'll see. I'm kind of tempted to put this in a terrarium. Um, I'm thinking about it. I need to obviously let this little plant kind of recover because um, he's clearly not been enjoying the cold, um, presumably either in Stuart's or it might just have been when I took him outside into the car. Um, but yeah, he's, I think he'll be fine. I'm going to put him under a uh, bell jar cloche or whatever you call it, like the dome of glass um, to keep the humidity up and I think he'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, $3.99, not bad at all for a little caladium, given that one kind of double this size is usually about 16 to 20 pounds. Um, so yeah, I'm quite chuffed with that, but it's obviously a risk, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, just a little terrarium filler plant, um, a gorgeous little uh, Calathea lancifolia, otherwise known as the rattlesnake Calathea. This is $3.99, um, not bad at all. And they seem to do really, really well in terrariums, even closed terrariums. They just, they like the humidity. Um, so yeah, really, really chuffed with this little fella. He looks happy and healthy and uh, nice and affordable. Um, so yep, he is probably going to go in a terrarium, which I'm not going to tell you guys about now, um, because I think it'll be, it'll make for an exciting video when I eventually do it. So, um, yeah, yes, I'm going to be that horrible person's like, I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing with this. You'll have to come back another time. Um, and finally, I just got a little uh, Peperomia caparata luna. Um, <laughs> It's a plant I have killed in the past. Um, I know that a lot of people, not just myself, struggle with Peperomia caparata. They can be really fussy. Like, so they'll either do incredibly well or they'll just die. Like, there's no in-between. <laughs> um, so I am going to put this under a grow light, keep it somewhere with high humidity and only water it when it is floppy. Um, because... <sighs> Even recently I've killed a friggin' Peperomia caparata and they just like to die on you. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is this is a little funky fella. Um, I think for a long time he was kind of the face of Peperomia caparata. Um, but now obviously you've got a load of different hybrids, different cultivars and so on. But yeah, I do love the red and he is kind of like, he's got a lovely kind of metallic sheen. I doubt you'll be able to see it on video. Um, but he is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, he actually, I might put, I might put him in a terrarium. We'll see. We'll see. Um, not the same terrarium because I ran out of space, but, uh, yeah, so, um, that is it. Um, I did see a really cool Calathea white fusion. So if anyone wants a really expensive death on their hands, um, Stuart's is the place to go. <laughs> um, Calathea White Fusion, if you don't know, I will just put a picture of the Calathea White Fusion here that I saw. It is absolutely stunning, but proceed with caution because that Calathea will die on you like that, like within days of you getting it because it just requires such high humidity and it's just like the, the queen of problematic Calatheas. And if you've owned a Calathea, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, I think, I think from memory it was like 74 pounds or something like that. Something like, like very expensive to kill. Um, so yeah. Uh, but you know, if you feel like you're up to the challenge, uh, there's quite a lot going about lately. They seem to have come to the UK. So, uh, yeah, good luck. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Uh, short and sweet and a bit ad hoc. I know this isn't on my usual upload day, but I just thought it'd be nice to do a little extra video. Um, so let me know what you think. Do you like my begonias? definitely always say yes because <laughs> um, if you don't what are you doing here <laughs> um, I feel like begonias are just my life now so um, expect to see more um, yeah 
Thank you, as always, so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.